All right, here's the first uh, lesson in uh, this project. So ideally, if you have two monitors, you could have um, Android Studio open in one and your browser in the other. If not, have your browser open and Android Studio open, and you'll just have to switch back and forth between the two. But go ahead and code um, open Android Studio, follow along, pause the video as needed. All right, so first thing, start a new Android Studio project. All right, we're gonna call this Fish Tracker. Okay, next, we'll support down to API 19, which is KitKat. Start with an empty activity, and we're gonna call that first activity, main activity, just like any Java application. All right, let's open up our directory. Here's the layout file. Here's our main activity. This is what they look like. Here's a preview of our layout file. Uh, it's loading right now. Maybe. All right, there we go. This is the preview. So. Our first screen is going to be a screen for uh, signing in, signing up, and yeah, that's it. Signing in or signing up. Um, let's go ahead and switch this to uh, a linear layout. And we will add those buttons to sign in or sign up. So here's the first button. Let's add some text to this button. We'll say sign in. And our next button. Uh, right. The text will be sign up. We forgot to specify the orientation for the linear layout. So let's go ahead and do that. Give it an orientation of vertical. Now let's add an image view. And we'll give it um, about 50 density pixels by 50 density pixels. And it's we don't have an icon yet, so we'll just have its source be a default, um, the system default app icon. And we'll, we will, oh, Give it a layout gravity uh, center in the horizontal. There we go. And let's go ahead and give it some margin of um, how about 16 density pixels. All right, let's put some space between our buttons. Margin bottom on the sign in button, we'll make it eight density pixels. And let's give our overall layout some padding. All right, padding, uh, we'll give it 16 density pixels as per mat material design. All right, there we go, that's a little better. Um, <clears throat> so now we have our layout file um, laid out. Um, let's move on to implementing the model view presenter design pattern. So for model view presenter, your view consists of um, the activity in conjunction with the layout file. That is your view, these two components. And um, your presenter will be a class called presenter. And you will define the behavior between these two in a contract or in other words, in an interface. So first, let's make a package for this module. We'll call it main. That package will be main. Let's drag our main activity into that package. Refactor the package name. All right. Now, let's go ahead and add the contract. So we'll call it main contract. 
and this is an interface. And we will, oops, I can't spell interface. Now we're going to define the contracts for our view and our presenter. So the first one is we'll, the view, so we'll call it MVP view. And the second contract is presenter. All right, now our main activity will have to implement its contract. So main contract, VP view. Okay, now let's make our presenter. So we have main presenter. Okay, and let's see, it implements main contract presenter. All right, now we've implemented our contracts. Now, um, for our view, we will need to have a handle on our presenter to let our presenter know when interactions have taken place. And for our uh, presenter, we will need to have a handle on our view to update the view as necessary. So, the way we, we there's a couple ways we can go about doing that. The first thing we need to do, let's add some some documentation here. So, uh, space or er, backslash uh, two asterisks, and then hit enter. All right, and the, this main activity is, um, let's see, this just displays the main screen. And by main screen, we're talking about the very first screen when the app loads. Now let's go to our contract, and um, this defines, defines the contracts Let's so we'll just say contract between the view uh, which in this case is the main activity and the presenter. Oops, I did that wrong. Uh, link presenter all right and our presenter let's see is responsible for um, handling Actions from the view and updating and let's see and notifying. I shouldn't use notify; it's a keyword. And uh, we'll just say updating the UI as required. All right, so. First, um, we will need to get a handle on our presenter from our view. So let's make we'll make a presenter variable. And that equals new presenter. Oops, let's go with main presenter. Okay. So um, we have a no arg, we don't have a constructor here, but let's go ahead and make one. Our presenter will need to uh, manipulate the view, so we'll need um, a, a view instance. So let's go ahead and um, make a view instance, but we're going to go, um, the view is the contract.mvp view, that is our view, not the activity. It's the MVP view, and uh, let's make a constructor, and 
uh, that will be the, the first parameter in the constructor. Um, the first argument in the constructor is main contract MVP view. This is a view equals view. All right. So now from our presenter, we have we have a handle on our view, and in our view, we have uh, an instance of our presenter. But let's go ahead and pass uh, the MVP view to our presenter, which is this, because this implements main contract MVP view, and now we're good to go. Uh, that is how you will set up every single model view presenter module moving forward. So, for example, our next one will be um, the sign-in activity. We can go ahead and make that that one right now. We'll make a new package. We'll call it sign-in. And we'll make it and i do not want this in the main, you see. I created a new package, but because I had a main package, it created it inside of there. I want it outside of the, the main package, but inside of this package. So let's go ahead and delete that. Oops, uh, wrong, wrong space. Um, I made the sign in. Uh, let's see, we'll have to refactor. Uh, it won't let us. So let's let's first make we'll make the the same components. So we'll have a sign in activity. We'll have a sign in contract. And a sign in presenter. All right. So um, let's go ahead and move those outside of the. You see, right now, this all the sign in activity, the sign in contract, and sign in presenter are all inside of the main package. This one, I don't, I don't want that. Let's we'll have them in its uh, in their own package. So we'll delete that, allow it to, and then let's see, move to package, sign in. And we're going to keep it in that main app source main. OK. All right, main. Here's our sign in. Um, grab these two sign in out of this package that's inside of our main. We'll grab these two and then drag them to this sign in package. Refactor. All right, go ahead and delete this, this um, the one we created originally. It did it for us. So there we go. This is how your project will look. You have the sign in and this is a, an interface, the contract, and you see it's the same as main. You have the activity, the contract, and the presenter. Activity, contract, presenter. And that's how you will set up every single module in a project that is using the model view presenter design pattern. Um, that is all for this video. Next we're going to go into test-driven development and now that we have set up main presenter and uh, our, our main module, we will write some unit tests and then go about developing, development on this module.